isn't this a beautiful sight? <laughs> Look, I know it seems repetitive. Trust me, I gawk at my Dendrobium hibiki every single day, several times a day, and I just don't get tired of this orchid. So for another Blooms for You series, I am super, super pleased that I can actually once again dedicate all my hibiki blooms that have opened. Still got a cluster to go right here to everybody that watches this video to say thank you so much for spending some time on my channel and having a look-see at what else is in bloom. Got some little gems out there this time around once again. I mean, an orchid in bloom, every orchid in bloom is a gem in my opinion. Anywho, let's get on with it. And yeah, right at the end, I, I won't be reverting back to Dendrobium hibiki just in case it's getting a bit tiresome, but I've got somebody waiting in the sidelines dying to get back on camera. So yeah, let's have a look, see whose name has come up this time around. And I'll be back then afterwards to bring back an old favorite. Summer basket full of summer goodness. <laughs> My Vanda Rainbow Forest is going bonkers in its basket. I'm very pleased to say that I am getting loads of spikes after all, despite the fact I thought at the beginning I might only get two or three. Last year I had nine, but I've got two that are currently blooming, not quite finished blooming, some buds are left, but there's a spike for Gendrix Channel and Robin Stockdale. So I have these two, at the moment doing their beautiful thing then i have another one here another one back here another one over here <laughs> um <clears throat> can we turn it around and find some more <laughs> this is fun this is a basket full of fun and there's two more over here and one up there so did i just count eight or seven it is always so difficult to tell with this orchid seven spikes that's fine with me because that gives me more opportunities to not only show this gorgeous gorgeous little vando but also to dedicate more spikes to you but for Jenrix channel and robin stockdale these two spikes here are currently doing their thing with a gorgeous honeysuckle very mild lemon but more on the sweet honeysuckle fragrance it's absolutely divine these blooms will last approximately two weeks, pretty much, per spike. And then they will start to deteriorate at the bottom as the top ones open. So I think it makes a pretty show that they're nice and fresh when there are still some buds left at the top. And this is obviously a very awkward way of showcasing Genrix Channel and Robin Stockdale's spikes because they're at opposite ends of each other, but still I think we're getting there to see how gorgeous and cute this is. Yeah, very, very fragrant. I love it. Very summery and fresh fragrant on the sweet side, a honeysuckle, so to speak, in this pot since 2018. I'm in absolutely no rush to move it out of this pot. It can eat it, it can take over, it can do its thing. I lost quite a few leaves earlier this season right here. Caused me a little bit of concern but because she is so vigorous, I thought, okay, whatever is going on and whatever you're doing to drop all these leaves, you go ahead. I've got so many fans on the go. So this orchid is just chugging along, doing well. Lots of new fans this year as well. Gonna be quite the spectacle every single year. And as they last two weeks and the spikes aren't all opening at once, we should have this around pretty much until the end of September, which is amazing. It would be a first to have it around in September because normally I have this in bloom by July and then it peters out by the end of the summer. But hey, we're gonna take it, we're gonna enjoy it. Maybe the blooms will last longer, but for the time being, I really wanna say thank you so much to Gendrix Channel and Robin Stockdale with my little Vanda Rainbow Forest Spikes they bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. And the second bloom has opened on my Phalaenopsis speciosa crossed with Violacea and Ingrid Fessel. Been waiting to get a nice little Phalaenopsis for you to bloom out and then be able to dedicate a bloom to you, seeing as I know that you love Phalaenopsis. So here she is, 
gorgeous little thing. Very, very fragrant. Finally, we've got the fragrance of gorgeous bubble gum. The first one was a little bit on the hesitant side when I filmed it the last time, but now with the second one open, these two are extremely intense, but I love it. I love it. Bubble gum, hubba bubba kind. And of course, I'm gonna zoom in one more time on this little cutie as well, because yep, she's got that hallmark fuzzy lip. Look at that. Yeah, I love this little orchid. I'm so pleased that she is strong enough to bloom. And as always, yes, I pointed it out the last time, but maybe somebody has not seen the last video. These little chartreuse tips at the end of the sepals, it just adds a detail that is so cute. It's like the icing on the cake. If she had just finished everywhere with just plain, like on the petals, that is cute too. And then she comes with a tiny little detail and just steps it up a notch. So, so cute. The color is true on camera. She has got a little bit more of a pink side to her. Not as much dark violacea, but it is a very, very strong trait in this parentage. And for that, I am extremely grateful because I am waiting for my other violacea to bloom. So at least now I'm sort of getting a hint of what to expect. She looks solid, but there are a few little markings like zebra markings around the column. Little white offsets there. She's not solid in her color. But I think that just adds to the charm. Very, very pleased that this orchid is in my collection. She smells gorgeous and very, very happy, Ingrid Fussell, that I could find you a Phalaenopsis bloom that is cute. And I know that you enjoy fowls. So here she is, Phalaenopsis speciosa cross with Violacea blooms for you, Ingrid to say thank you so very much for your support here on my channel. Nabika Hope, mini you. When you told me the great news, I got goosebumps in very, very hot summer conditions here in Spain. Congratulations, Nabika. This is, however, not about you. This is about mini you. So little mini you, Nabika, there is one thing that comes to mind when new people come to this world. And I say new people <laughs> because you are a little person. You're just a mini version of your mom, but it brings a huge smile to my face. It warms my heart. And I feel as though I'm right there snuggling and cuddling and getting to know you, but I'm not. However, I want to make sure that you know that I am here and that I'm welcoming you to this world, Nabika Mini, with a bloom that always has me smiling because it smiles back at me. Can you see that? Two eyes and a grin. A smiley face on a Phalaenopsis bloom to say, welcome little mini Nabika Hope to the world, you are living in paradise, not just because you've got such a wonderful mom, but you're also on the islands of the islands. There are no comparisons as to your destination. And I have never been, but I've been there vicariously, let's just say. Anyway, I have not even told you which orchid this is. This is Phalaenopsis cornucervi, variety Chatala Day. I call her Lady Chatterley, but for you, Mini Nabika Hope, this cutie is whatever it is that you want it to be because she blooms for you. And she's actually not done yet. Just so happens I thought she had finished blooming and then, well, I guess she knew that you were in the world now, so she had to give me a flower and smile for you too. She's got another bud coming here. Surprise, surprise. And her second spike for the season right up here is forming another bud. So there you go. There are still more smiles to come for you, little one. And I hope that your life is full of snuggles and smiles and everything that unicorns can bring to you. Love, 
happiness and all the fun stuff as you discover what the world is all about. Tell your mommy I said hi. I'm going to lean way out of the window on this dedication and I hope I don't get in trouble for it. I hope I do not disappoint. I know you don't like spotted blooms. And I mean, um, after all, I did broaden my horizons for a Matonia sunset, right? So yeah, spotty blooms for you, Michael McCarthy. <laughs> but I have to, I have to dedicate this Panarica, whatchamacallit? Well, I bought it as an Iono Centra. I just had to dedicate this spike to you because not just for your incredible support on my channel and every channel on YouTube that you watch, but because you identified this as a Panarica when I bought her and I thought it was going to be like a Prostechia Iono Centra, which is supposed to have green petals and sepals bright green, spring green petals and sepals with that shaped lip the way it's supposed to be. Lo and behold, what is this? Panarica whatchamacallit. Michael McCarthy, please do not hate me. I'm giving you 14 blooms. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to compensate or anything, but this whole spike is all yours, all yours to say thank you, even though she's spotted and I know you don't like spotted blooms. But who else do I dedicate an orchid spike to that has helped me so much in the past year of having my channel plus identifying my orchids and then when she blooms out who do I say um, yes I have a panarica for you um, she was supposed to be Iono Centra it turns out I don't know what she is but hello here you go so Michael don't hate me <laughs> this was really meant to be the panarica Iono Centra dedication to you but it is a panarica what Chris Martacarpa hybrid. I've been looking at pictures online trying to compare and I just don't, I don't see whether it is a true Chris Martacarpa. And your eye, well, your eye is fabulous for these kinds of things. So Michael, thank you so much for the past year, almost year and a half that you've been on my channel every day supporting me. I, I really appreciate it. Helping with fantastic ideas, identifying my collection that were mislabeled of purchase. So is it too much to ask if I just say, what is this, Michael? <laughs> because whatever this is, it blooms for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support. Really, really appreciate it. I think she's beautiful, but you know my affinity for spotted blooms. I am disappointed it is not the Iono Centra, but hey ho, what can you do? It turns out this is it. This is what you got. Deal with it. You know, what? Am I going to go back to the nursery and say, <clears throat> excuse me, but um, do you have an Iono Centra that you could send me in replacement of whatever you've got sent to me here? I don't know. Anyway, but look, there's another spike coming. I was trying to wait for them to actually open all together, but seeing as it's my first year to see this one bloom, I don't know how long the blooms last. I'm anticipating quite a long time, seeing as it is like a Prostechia or Epidendrum kind. I'm just anticipating they're gonna last a long time, but I didn't wanna risk it just yet. Added little detail, I do not detect a fragrance at all. So maybe that helps. I hope it's not a hybrid, really. My intentions were to buy the species. I really didn't want a hybrid, but hey, Michael, as I said, please don't hate me. <laughs> please, 14 blooms, all right? 14, all for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Isn't this just so typical? Oh my goodness, why do these orchids do this? This is Tolumnia Golden Fire and I'm dedicating this spike to Swiss Orchid Guy. Uh, let me just see if I can make some readjustments because every time I move it, it turns and faces away from me. It doesn't have to do that. It's so cute, so gorgeous. Let's see if we do it this way and what happens. You see, <clears throat> my tolumnias are all in little individual baskets, like so. So they just go bopping around and their spikes go to the light 
and we're clearly not in its location where it is right now in my blooming alley, blooming away. And look, <laughs> amazing. I have bloomed so early in the year. Normally, normally my tulumnias bloom sat on a tray throughout the winter and not nicely displayed against my west wall of my blooming alley, which I was hoping to be a little splash of color right at the end of that little walkway. But ahem, this is the first time I'm getting a bloom this early in the season and happy days, Swiss orchid guy. I was wondering if you had a channel, couldn't find it. I know that you've subbed because your name is on my list. If you have a channel, would you please let me know because then I will link your channel in the description below. If not, then at least I want you to know that my Tulumnia Golden Fire is in bloom for you to say thank you very, very much. If you speak German, vielen, vielen herzlichen Dank dass du hier bist und mich ab und zu auf meinem Kanal besuchst. Really appreciate your time that you're here. So this spike is not the only one I have. Can I do it like this? Whoop, like Pomsa. Where are you? There you go, like that. I have another one coming. So after my Tulumnia debacle of 2020, we're getting there, we're getting there. They're coming back, they're bouncing back with gorgeous spikes, which I hope are gonna last forever. Because as we know, Tolumnia's branch and there's already something peeking out over there. So Golden Fire is hopefully gonna be around for quite some time. Isn't this so cute though? <laughs> Tolumnia's are, well, every orchid has its special little charm, but Tolumnia's, I mean, I have a few Tolumnia's that have a sort of a golden and a bronze kind of coloration. And they always remind me of little teddy bears with the ears and, and it's just so cute, which is probably not exactly the bloom for a gentleman Swiss orchid guy. I get it, I get it. I just hope that you see this video and know that your name has come up and that I am very, very appreciative of your support. So my little Tolumnia Golden Fire, she blooms for you. Vielen, vielen herzlichen Dank. Eunopsis popcorn haruri, oh my goodness. <laughs> I missed the mark to film these blooms while there was still a hint of yellow in the newest and latest bloom over here. But I did a care collab where I managed to capture that feature that this Eunopsis popcorn haruri has, making it all the more charming. I hope that you don't mind Kenneth Reyes to have the spike as is at this point in time dedicated to you specifically as a thank you from my side to tell you how much I appreciate your support here on my channel. And I love the comments and I hope that everything is going well in your part of the world. So this is my first spike. The second spike has not opened yet, but we're seeing some coloring. So just a single dedication to Kenneth Reyes. Thank you, really, really appreciate the time you spend here on my channel, watching my videos, leaving encouraging comments, positive feedback, all of that. Thank you very, very much. So I've just zoomed in a little bit because I'm just letting the wind or the, well, it's not wind, it's the breeze do its thing because it just adds to the whole charm of how this orchid presents itself on its hybrid Michael Mount, which is working out absolutely beautifully for this orchid. Isn't this just the cutest? I really hope that I managed to link up a bloom for you, Kenneth, that you also like and are not saying, well, no, not really my thing. It's a guessing game, dedicating blooms. It's a guessing game. So I hope I got it right. I just love this orchid, her charm, how much variety and detail is in the blooms and how long they last. This spike has now fully bloomed out. It's been about 10 days and yet they still look as fresh as daisies, even bang smack in the middle of the hottest part of the year. Kenneth Reyes, thank you ever, ever so much for your support here on my channel. Dendrobium Saraula has not been featured for a very long time because despite the fact that I had some blooms going, they weren't really that much of an impressive little show that I would feel comfortable dedicating them to anybody. But now 
I have several clusters going and these several clusters I am dedicating to funky surprise toys because toys, plural, you know, funky surprise toys, more than one, not just blooms, but clusters, because I've got a lot more going on. This whole dendrobium just blooms and blooms and blooms. I enjoy her very, very much. The only thing being, she is very difficult to dedicate because she has some blooms come out looking fabulous like this gorgeous little cluster here and the one behind it, but they, they look tired even when they're fresh, which is clearly something I do not want to dedicate if a bloom looks tired. But we've had some mild weather and these blooms are looking absolutely gorgeous. I have not put her in the sun because it'll wash out the colors and all the little details but she does have a chrysaline effect. What she doesn't have is a fragrance. She is on my community mount, <clears throat> being taken over maybe by Dendrobium aphyllum and the Dendrobium serratolabium that I have right here, which I'm hoping is going to bloom at some point, but at the moment, no sign at all. Growing very, very well though. Very pleased with how all these canes have managed to elongate and chubby and fatten up. Yeah, but I'm just pleased as to how the Serratolabium is doing. Having said that, funky surprise toys, I have a cluster right here that is worthy. I have another cluster back here. I also find that worthy. And there's two clusters down here that I also consider very worthy of dedicating to you to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. I am very protective of this cluster right here because that is looking fabulous. And there's another cluster back here. <laughs> yeah, this orchid is just go, go, go. Bloom, bloom, bloom. It's fabulous. And while it grows, new growths. Super, super vigorous. I love it. So funky surprise toys, my Dendrobium soraula all these clusters they bloom for you to say thank you so very very much for your support here on my channel cousin it i know i know and look look where he's looking <laughs> giving me the side eye as in you have not paid any attention to me with your camera since possibly may something like that or in passing, I know he's giving me whoop, the side eye for sure. For everybody that is new on my channel, this is Maxillaria variabilis. However, because of his fabulous, fabulous appearance, he is dubbed Cousin It here on Ninja Orchids. And usually he stands on the table with me when I'm working, he's watching me, we have conversations with each other. It's just that look at the size of him, you are huge i have no room for you i need a special little stand for you <laughs> i mean that well cousin it okay don't get all offended now don't get all offended it's a good thing for kids to be big blousy and well lush how about that it's a good thing i'm not insulting you i'm complimenting you all right big in the orchid world is awesome far too human for my liking this orchid already getting personality traits that are clearly clearly far too human for me but side eye aside okay let's not be rude let's be polite seeing as you haven't been around in the viewfinder show yourself there you go hello everybody yep cousin it is enormous and he would have probably preferred to have had a brush as well because it attempted to rain last night. So what dust was on him now can really clearly be seen. Come on, enough already of your moaning. You're hardly uh, two minutes into being on camera again and we're already getting attitude. But anyway, yep, looking amazing. I'm sure that we're going to get a lot of blooms out of him come late winter 2022, right? Huh? Okay. Well, from Cousin It and myself, if you've made it this far, thank you so very, very much for watching. Really appreciate your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Push comes to shove. If I get too much lip from him now, he will be back in more videos to come simply because it's getting noisy in my head. 
and he really, really needs some attention. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.